Really special morning this morning. Wow, that seems loud. Is it just me? No, it's loud. It's loud. It's loud. Can we turn the oh that's yeah. Somewhere in the middle there? Okay, I'll keep going. We'll get it right. I'm borrowing your music stand, Tamara. I'll try not to steal your music. Oh, no but it is one of my histories is if I use your music stand for my notes, I end up stealing your music. I'm right in the front row, you can get it back, okay? <laughs> So we're talking about the presence and oneness. So what do you call the presence? What do you call it? God. God? Now. Now. Ooh, that's good. Lemonade. Lemonade. <laughs> Any others? Love. Love. See, I took on pure love earlier this year as, as a name. Anybody else? <laughs> it's all divine, isn't it? Everything. A lot of times we use spirit. I also like the divine. I come up with names for me that create a feeling. I think that's what words are for. To help us create feeling and emotion. So what does this presence do? What does it do? What is it? Nobody knows. Nobody has any ideas. It's your talk, dear. It's my talk. <laughs> Spirit always says yes. 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 Three people have learned this. That's awesome. <laughs> In all these years, three people learned. Spirit always says yes. 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 Louder. Spirit always says yes. yes. You experienced that. You bet. You just talked about experiencing this. And what's hard is when, like Jonna talked about, when we go out and plan something, we work at something, we do something, and it doesn't turn out the way we want it. Has anybody ever had anything like Jonna talked about not turn out the way you wanted? Has anybody not? <laughs> Raise your hand if your life has gone perfectly smooth every single moment. Desmond, Desmond, right. for the rest of us. <laughs> for the rest of us, we get these opportunities to look beyond the outside expression, to look beyond what's going on outside of us. So what are the things that are outside of us? Our jobs, our relationships, our bank accounts, our homes, yeah, our cars, the entire material world is outside of us. What's inside of us? The entire material world. The entire material world. Everything. But spirit is what dwells inside. God dwells inside. And so often we spend our life trying to make the outside be something. Trying to make the outside look right to everybody else. Trying to make the outside make us feel better inside. And does it work? Sometimes. Very often? Not for long. Not for long. Who's ever bought a brand new car? Raise your hand if you bought a brand new car. And you loved that car when you bought it, right? Yeah. What happened five years later? <laughs> you traded in for another one because you're trying to get that feeling of that brand new car and that excitement and what that car made you feel. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. That's why we do this. You buy new clothes, you buy new shoes, you buy a new car. You do all this outside stuff. You pick the perfect house, you pick the perfect community. And it works for a little while. But that's not what fills us on the inside. It leaves us actually kind of empty. We think it's going to work. We do it over and over and over again. I'm still doing it. Are you still doing it? We know better, but we're still doing it. When things aren't going well, 
We need to find a way to turn inside, to go to that place. Jonna talked about that, you know, this moment of despair. Anybody had a moment of despair? We've all had them, right? It's not that we're not going to ever have them again because we walk on a spiritual path. I've said this over and over again. What it means is that we walk on this spiritual path so that we don't have to experience these things for days, for weeks, for months, or for years. It's like a marathon runner. I say this all the time. A marathon runner gets out of breath, but they recover faster. We are going to have things come up in our lives, but what are our tools to recover? You know a lot of them. Meditation. When you're upset, can you meditate real well? I can't. That's where I have issues. I, I don't do well. We have silence. Sometimes meditation includes silence. My head's going too much when I'm in those kinds of places. How about you? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. We have prayer. We, we teach a very positive prayer. We don't ask for anything. We stand in truth knowing that God is for us, moving as us, moving through us. We can go to that. And that works. A lot of the time, that works. But what do you do when that doesn't work? Ever had those times? You'd go through all the steps, all the things you think you know. You read the books. The books don't help. You can listen to people like me, and that doesn't help. What do you do? Kim actually did it at the beginning of our meditation time. Can you just take a breath? Spirit, the presence, the divine, is in every single breath. Every breath goes into you where spirit dwells, to the core of your being. And that oxygen, I mean, if we look at science, that oxygen goes into your lungs, and it goes through every part of your physical being. That's it. That's, that's the key. That's that one thing you can do when nothing else will work. Take a deep breath. Go ahead and practice now. Think of something that's not perfect in your life. Is there anything that's not perfect in your life? Some situation. Take a deep breath. Do it again. As you breathe in again, surrender that situation to spirit. What happens when you surrender? When we let go of that control, I'm a control freak too. When we let go of that control and we open to surrender, peace. we get peace. We allow spirit to come in. And spirit comes in and somehow transforms that. It transforms our thinking. And we can open the door to the serendipity. We can open the door to the lessons. We can open the door to our own spiritual growth and find a way to say thank you no matter what is happening. This week is Thanksgiving. And it doesn't mean there aren't problems or opportunities for solutions. <laughs> Sometimes they're just problems. But if we can give those problems to something greater than us and allow the answer to come forth, we do find that peace. 
Can we let go of the how? Let go of the when? And allow ourselves to be filled with joy no matter what. Because joy does not come from that outside world. Joy doesn't come from the bank account or the new car. Joy comes from within. There is inside of you a wellspring of joy. We're too busy thinking about the stuff that we don't like. We're too busy focusing on what we don't want. Had a conversation with someone earlier this morning, having vision problems. And what's the natural thing? You focus on what you can't see. And you say it over and over again. I can't see this. I can't see this. I can't see this. Instead of focusing on what you can see. Whatever it is in your life, focus on the good. It takes some practice. Breathe. Open your heart. Allow yourself to be joy-filled. Allow yourself to be prosperous. Let go and allow yourself to be grateful. Because divine right action is taking place no matter what it looks like. Thank you.